how it is that the entire church has have missed the messiah that was prophesied of in Deuteronomy 18 it's actually mind blown and people are so bold to proclaim the gospel when they could never even preach the gospel out of the old testament that is bizarre that isn't normal how were the how were all of the prophets sorry how were all of the apostles and the messiah preaching the gospel quoting the Old Testament, constantly bringing light to dark sins. And yet the Christian church now preach the gospel out of a few verses in, in the New Testament that they take out of context to preach their own, their own gospel. The gospel isn't that God himself came down and died, rose from the dead, so that you would just believe that he did that and therefore are forgiven. That is not the gospel. The gospel is Deuteronomy 18. That's why they tell you in Acts 3, go and learn what Moses said about the Messiah. And if you actually did that, you would realize they were quoting Deuteronomy 18 and that this Messiah, who was like Moses, a man, was going to bear the full spirit of God and speak every single word that God tells him to speak, God the Father. And he was going to speak it perfectly on his behalf. That's why he says, why callest thou me good? There is only one good. That is God. Does he need to tell you, I am not God? He's saying it's God that's good because he's full of the spirit of grace and truth without measure. Unlike us who have it with a small measure. Um, that's why we do, we can do the same works as him. Or that's what we strive to do. Um, and the works he's talking about there is actually the royal law. He says twice, I have finished the work. He says it, I think it's John 13, 14, around there, probably John 13. He says, I've finished my work. He's talking about the royal law. He's talking about elevating the law. He elevated the law and made it honorable. Meaning, he didn't judge by the flesh. He didn't judge by sacrificial law. He rebuked sin according to the Ten Commandments. Like Deuteronomy 18 tells you he was going to. Deuteronomy 18 says the Messiah is going to be raised up by God. He's going to speak every word on behalf of God. And what words is he going to speak? Everything that Israel desired at Horeb, not Sinai. Horeb. So go to Deuteronomy 5. The Lord thy God made a covenant with us in Horeb and he gave us the Ten Commandments and he added no more. He added no more to the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are the, is the Holy Covenant. Sacrificial law was then added. Why? Because they sinned against the covenant they said they would keep immediately. Moses came down from, from Sinai with the tablets. The tablets that were engraved had the ten, the ten Commandments engraved with God's own finger. Moses smashed the tablets. The covenant was broken. Sacrificial law was added as a punishment. That's what the Messiah refreshed. And he elevated the royal law when he came. So in John 13, when he says, I think it's John 13. When he says, I've finished my work, he means he's finished elevating the law. But then on the cross, he says it is finished. And he's quoting Deuteronomy. The sacrificial law was put in the side of the Ark of the Covenant, which represents your heart. It was put in the side of the Ark as a testimony against you until the seed would come to refresh that and remove it and remove that added law. Galatians 3.19. That's the gospel. He was coming to teach the Ten Commandments. Whosoever would teach the Ten Commandments and accept the rebuke, the royal law, they would receive the spirit of truth and be set free and then they have to pay it forward to their neighbour as well. That's the gospel. Deuteronomy 18, 15 and 19. Acts 3 is quoting it. And Peter is also quoting Isaiah 28. This is the refreshing of the covenant. This is the good tidings. This is the gospel. Yet they would not hear.